in the last video uh, uh, <coughs> we discussed uh, uh, torque experienced by dipole in a uniform electric field suppose if ta uh, dipole is not placed in a uni not, um, if dipole is placed in non uniform electric field what happens if dipole placed in non uniform electric fields it experiences torque as well as translatory motion it moves and it rotates but in uniform uniform electric field it experiences only torque non uniform electric field it has torque as well as translatory motion and now another important discussion is gauss law now see what is this gauss law now take a sphere okay, at the center if you place a point charge q the radius of this sphere consider r then what happen electric field lines act radially outwards clear now flux through this surface i would like to find clear now first construct a small surface here this small surface on the sphere take it as delta s through this surface electric field lines act like this so this small amount of it. i consider small area so this uh, small area through this small area flux i am considering uh, small flux that i am take it as a delta phi clear already i explained flux formula phi is equal to ea cos theta for this delta phi is equal to electric field e and area is delta s cos theta delta s is a area clear and this area vector act like this field and area vector both are parallel in this case theta will be zero then delta phi is equal to e delta s cos zero one clear now i i calculated flux through this area if you calculate flux throughout the area means we need to construct small areas and we need to add all the flux all areas electric field passing through all areas we need to add by adding all we will get total flux then total flux we can write phi is equal to summation of delta phi is equal to summation of e delta s and this phi is equal to e is same summation of delta s phi is equal to q is what electric field formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by r square and summation of all small areas it gives the surface area of the sphere now surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square summation of delta s is 4 pi r square clear now 4 pi 4 pi r square r square cancel phi is equal to q by epsilon naught this is is the gas expression then how do we define gas law gas law is flux through any closed surface is equal to flux through any closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed by this surface clear gas law we states that our gas gas states that flux through any closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed by the surface phi is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge enclosed by the surface this total surface encloses the charge q so this phi is equal to q by epsilon naught epsilon naught is what permittivity of free space already uh, we have seen in uh, uh, beginning uh, beginning videos clear starting videos